in part two of creating an animation in Photopea, uh, I'm going to show you how, now that we have a base of um, an animation started, I'm going to show you how to add more things to your project um, and make it look like they play through. Uh, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a animation of a bird flying across the screen. And if you type in bird sprite, um, this will work for any image. So if you want to do like a tiger or a hot air balloon or anything like that, if you type in the word sprite after, what sprite will do is it'll give you an animation of images. So like in here, it shows the image of this bird with the wings up, down, or even down. And then so this one's a four stage bird flight. This one here um, is more than four. It's a multiple stage bird flight. So you can go through and pick out which bird diagram that you want. Um, I think just for the sake of this picture, let's just do a simplistic one. So let's use this bird here. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to this one because this one doesn't have a watermark. I'm gonna copy the image, go into Photo P. And then I'm going to go to edit and paste. Um, what that'll do is that'll paste my image into my document. Uh, next thing I need to do is I need to just get rid of the background. Um, so a couple different ways I can do that. The first one is just take my magic wand tool. I'll make sure my feathering's down to zero here. Um, and I'm just going to click on this blue area and push delete with my keyboard. And now you'll see how it gives me um, that little white frame. So I'm just going to use my selection tool. So my box selection tool and push delete. So I'm just selecting all the areas I want to get rid of here. So I'm just going to do it in a few different steps to make sure I get rid of everything. Um, now you'll see all four of these birds are on one layer. So I'm going to cut them off and put them on a different layer. And it looks like I clipped off top of this bird here. So I need to step backwards. So I want to make sure all of my bird's wing is there. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm going to select this bird and this is going to be bird one. So I'm going to cut this bird off of this layer. And I'm going to paste it. It'll automatically paste it on a new layer for me. And then, so this one's going to be called bird one. I'm going to go back to my other layer and I'm going to copy this one. So I'm going to control X to cut it off. Control V will paste it. And this one will be bird two. And with this case, I'm going to make sure I wrote, slide it up so that they're in sequential order. I'm going to copy this bottom bird here. So I'm going to cut it off. I'm going to repaste it and call this one bird three. And I'm going to go to my original. If I close the eye, it shows me that this is bird number four. So I'm going to click on it. Now, obviously, if you pick out a sprite that has um, more images than what we have on here, you would have um, to cut out each one of those. So now we have bird one, two, three, and four. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in order. So let's say this bird here, there's bird one, bird two, bird three, and bird four. So now it's going to make it look like this bird is flying across the screen. Um, what I want to do though, is I want to duplicate all these and just keep adding them over. So what I did was I highlighted all of my layers to highlight. I just click on one layer. I hold shift and click on the top layer and it will select all of them. I'm going to right click and I'm going to duplicate layer. So now you'll see it bird one through four, bird one through four copy. Use my mover tool and it will move all four of those together. I'm going to right click, duplicate layer again. So that's copy two. Right click, duplicate layer again. And it looks like I need to do it one more, duplicate layer. And there we go. So now I have all the steps of the bird flying across and they're all visible. 
Um, as it stands right now, they are just normal layers though. So they are not going to be something that plays through in your animation. So I'm going to hold shift and highlight them all. So you'll see how I have bird one through bird four, copy four, all selected. Click on layer <clears throat> animation and make frames. And what that'll do is it'll turn all of those birds into frames like we did with our first part. So let's just play through this to see how it looks. Um, you will notice that when I export it as a GIF, it will play the ball bouncing first, and then it'll play the bird flying across. Um, so after I show this little preview, I will show you how to combine those layers. So the bird and the ball will appear on the same layer. Let's speed this process up a little bit. So now your ball is bouncing across the screen, and then your bird is going to come and fly across. Um, so it plays all these in sequential order. So now essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each of these bird layers and I'm going to drag them down in between each of these layers over here. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and make my layers more visible. So by clicking this little arrow, it'll hide everything. And if I just click on layers, now I have this whole layer copy up here. Um, so it's just going to be a matter of trying to keep everything straight as I'm working through this. So I'm going to start with bird one. I'm going to drag it down and put it above it takes just a little bit here. I'm going to put it above my first layer. Okay. So what it's going to look like once I get all these dragged down is it's going to be layer one or layer two, and then bird layer two copy and then bird two layer three copy bird two. So it's just going to alternate between bird and the layer. So just take a minute here to reorder all these. So layer bird, layer bird. I think maybe I'm just going to take and highlight a few of these and bring them down. So it'll be just a matter now of just ordering these. So I put all these here. So now this bird copy, bird four is gonna go above this copy here. So bird layer, bird, I need to move this one up. I need to move this one up. So it may take a little bit, it may be confusing. Um, you know, that's kind of why I wanted to layer each one so bird layer bird this one gets needs to get moved up so bird three copy so bird two copy bird three copy i think i got it all bird one two three four bird one copy bird two copy bird three copy now we just need to go up and grab some more of these birds so bird four copy Let's pull down a couple of these so we don't have to flip back and forth quite as much. Okay, so bird four, bird one, copy two, bird two, copy two, bird three, copy two, bird four, copy two. Let's do all copy threes here. It might make it a little bit easier to kind of see. I mean, you'll notice I have more layers of the ball than I will of the bird, which is fine. It just means that the bird will fly all the way across the screen before the ball is done moving. So now we have all the bird two, copy threes. Bird three, copy three. Bird four, copy three. 
And the last set is copy four. So bird two, copy four, bird three, copy four, and bird four, copy four. Now, as I scroll through here, it should be alternate between bird and layer all the way across. Um, if we look at a preview of what this will look like, um, since they are in separate layers right now, what's going to happen is it's going to flicker back and forth between the ball layer, bird layer, ball layer, bird layer, ball layer, bird layer, um, as we go through here. So to just give it a minute to um, load so we can kind of take a look at it. So can I see how it's flickering back and forth between the two? Um, so now to make sure that they show simultaneously, I'm going to merge the bird layer in with the ball layer. To do that, I'm going to right click and merge down. So now you'll see in this layer, you can kind of see over here, there's that bird and that first ball layer are both on the same layer. Um, just a little hint, a shortcut E is merge down key. So I'm just going to click on all the birds, click control E or you can right click and go to merge down either way you want to do it, but I'm merging the bird onto the ball layer. So every bird layer, I'm going to right click or I'm going to click on it. Control E control E. until I get all of my birds merged onto a layer with the ball. four here so we'll be getting close to the top all right now you can see i have no more individual bird layers here's where the bird finishes off the screen so my bird layer is way over here and the rest is the ball so now that i have those merged i'm going to go ahead and click edit i'm sorry i'm going to go to file export as a gif so now we can kind of see what it looks like with those layers merged together so now the bird is flying and the ball is bouncing. And I've just created a GIF where um, the images, uh, where I copy and paste multiple images and have them moving on the same layer.